So that's the fake alpha male. They're pushing and they're stepping right into tension and they're pushing that tension over and over and over again. And they're saying, I'm pushing tension. Why is it not working? The reason it's not working is because you're not calibrating the tension with feeling, feeling in the body, vulnerability. See, a real confident alpha male feels his whole body from head to toe. And then he steps into the tension. He feels his heart and he feels his vulnerability in the heart. And think about it, which sounds more confident? A guy who can open his heart, walk right up and say, hey, what's your name? I like you. And feel every bit of emotion between you two and still stay right there and be like, yep, I still like you. Or that hurt, man, but I'm still here. Or wow, this is scary. I can't wait to do it because he's vulnerable, but he's vulnerable strong, not vulnerable needy. Or a guy who walls off his heart and says, hey, what's up? How you doing, man? What's your name? Where are you from? And there's a big difference in those two energies. So in this video, I want to talk about one of the key signs that you're a real alpha male versus a fake alpha male. And I want you guys to understand that for a lot of guys, including myself, that are learning from fearless, when we start out, when I started out, I was a true beta male. And we'll get into talk about what a beta male is later. But what we do is we compensate by pretending to be an alpha, we call a fake alpha. And you can do a pretty good job of pretending for a while, but ultimately it never leads to happiness. It never leads to truly feeling good about yourself. So I wanna talk about what's the difference between a fake alpha and a real alpha so you know what you're shooting for. Because there is a huge difference. And I don't mind the term alpha male. Uh, you confident man, solid guy, whatever, I don't care. Whatever term you wanna use. But alpha male guys love the idea of an alpha male. And what is a real, and I'm talking about a third stage, which is a David Data term, alpha male, which is what we teach. And uh, to understand that, we gotta look at a kind of a little bit, I'm gonna give you a brief overview of what a beta male is. And uh, there's many versions of a beta male, I would say there's different degrees, but the most common type of beta male I see in my uh, practice is the nice guy. The guy that's overly nice or nice to a fault. He has trouble saying no to people, he has trouble setting boundaries. When he does set boundaries, he pushes really hard and then pushes everybody out of his life because he feels guilty and ashamed. Or every once in a while, because he's bad at expressing his anger and his frustration, he blows up on somebody. Like for example, maybe he, he holds it all inside forever, doesn't say anything, he's super nice. The girl takes total advantage of him or he thinks she is. In reality, he's letting her walk all over him. He's not saying no, he's not setting a boundary. And then eventually he blows up at her and yells and screams at her and says, look at all the nice things I've done for you. You don't appreciate me. Now that's a really short example of what a beta male is, but that's the basic idea. And then he feels guilty and ashamed and he apologizes, tries to make up for it. And he has this kind of almost like crazy uh, energy of going back between nice to this blow up, which usually the blow ups for beta males only happen maybe once, twice a year. Some guys, they don't happen for years and then they have huge blow ups and they're really bad. And then what happens is when the beta male gets really burned out on all of this energy of feeling taken advantage of, he just starts cutting people out of his life as he gets older usually. And then he starts becoming comfortable being alone. And that really sucks, that's super lonely. And he says, oh, I'm confident, you know, I feel good. But in reality, he's confident because he doesn't have anybody in his life activating tension, causing his old behaviors to come up. He's keeping everybody at a distance. So he says, I'm not a nice guy because there's nobody around to be a nice guy too. So kind of let that in. And so there's, we could talk about all the versions of that and we'll probably get into that in, super, in future videos. But when you look at what's the opposite of that. So one of your friends or another girl says, it's, a girlfriend says, go talk to her. She's, you, you seem to like her. And you're like, okay, but I don't know what to say. I don't know how to be. And they're like, just be confident. What the fuck does that mean? Just be confident. Well, just be confident, act confident. So since we don't really know what confidence is, and here at Fearless, we specialize in teaching what confidence really is. Since we don't really know what confidence is, what we do is we state pump up, take a big breath, push our chest out. We, we in a sense, we rise up out of our body. We're like, we're down low and, and then we're, we get really nervous. Go into our head. Hi, my name's Brian, what's yours? And there's this pushing energy that's really hard and it's lacking any depth of feeling or emotion. And we push and we, we fake the confidence. Yeah, nothing bothers me. I'm solid. I'm good. And then we start learning. If we do it more and more, we get to the point where we can approach a lot of people because we rise out of our emotions, out of our body. We literally don't feel the chest. We don't feel it. We're up here. Hey, how you doing? My name's Brian. What's your name? Where are you from? You've all run into that guy at the bar, right? Hey, how you doing, man? What are you drinking? 
and there's this push in their energy. That's acting confident. That's what I call a fake alpha male. And that can become a habit. I see guys out that go out night after night and they're like, what's up, man? How you doing? My, uh, my name's Brian. How you doing? How you doing? And they can walk around and they get almost comfortable in being disconnected from their body. And they'll score here and there if they keep doing it because sheer numbers will cause things to happen. A drunk girl, a girl that's totally disconnected from her body, things like that. But it's a lot of work. It's super tiring. They're typically exhausted at the end of the night from not feeling their body because real, real confidence, you're fully down flowing through your body relating to the woman around you. And if you don't understand what I mean by that, uh, you got to look at some of my other videos where I talk about what it is to feel your body. You know, the truth is, is that our body is a musical instrument. We feel appreciation and joy through the chest. We feel our confidence through the stomach and our intuition, our gut brain is there. And this is science, man. And you get down to the hips and you got your turn on, your creative energy, you got your passion, you got your grounding through your legs. When you're feeling your whole body, now you can relate to somebody, you can express powerfully, you can be a big open energy, you can connect. There's so much you can do. You can be more penetrating. You can pull back and be more relaxed and flow. And, and that's really, really powerful. So when you understand that the, the fake alphas are rising out of their body, because what's happening is in these parts of the body where we feel, they're disassociated. They're just, they've got a lot of pain in there. They got sadness in the heart and they got, they got self-esteem issues in the gut. So they cut the gut off, which is their intuition. And they don't feel their turn on because they're scared of their own turn on or they're, they're scared that they're gonna get rejected. And that's their creative energy and they're really bad at grounding. So they just kind of become a walking, talking head or what we love to call a social robot. So are you a social robot? And they act it, they fake it, and they're pushing, 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 and everything gets done through push. And it can be very tiring and very exhausting. I used to do that. I did that for a while. And I thought that was going to get rid of my approach anxiety. It actually made it worse in the long run. I'm sure some of you out there know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. So now let's talk about what it is to be an authentic, real alpha male. And before I do, I want to ask you, if you're getting some value out of this video, will you please like, because it really helps the YouTube algorithm. If you like the video, helps us to get more viewers, build the channel, get more videos for you to help you out. So I really, really appreciate that. You can also share the video. Anybody you think could use it, that would be awesome. I truly appreciate that. And subscribe, hit that bell notification if you haven't. And uh, at the end of this video, if you really liked it, put a comment in the video and let us know because uh, uh, we, re we read all those comments and we're always kind of on it. And it really helps us to figure out what else you want to know more about. And we're really working on the channel right now, getting it succinct back to dating for you guys because we kind of ventured off. We're getting succinct. We're getting tight in this channel. If we're going to do something other than dating, we might at some point, we'll do a separate channel for that. But let's dive this in a little deeper. What is a real alpha male? Well, a real alpha male is somebody they can step into the tension because the guy who's going up to his head, he's stepping into the tension. He's pushing into the tension. Hey, what's up? So you're saying, I'm doing what you're saying, Brian, I'm pushing into the tension, but they're doing it by leaving the feeling part of their body. They're disassociating from all the feelings of their body. Cause think about it. You think in your head and you feel through the body. When you feel sad, you feel it in the body. When you feel lonely, you feel it in the body. When you feel joy, you feel it in the body. When you feel love, you feel a warmth in your heart. Typically when you feel turned on, you feel it down here. So they're disassociating from that part of their body because they're kind of ashamed of it or embarrassed or don't want to get rejected or they're hurt. And they're pushing, pushing, pushing. And so that's the fake alpha male. They're pushing and they're stepping right into tension and they're pushing that tension over and over and over again. And they're saying, I'm pushing tension. Why is it not working? The reason it's not working is because you're not calibrating the tension with feeling, feeling in the body, vulnerability. See a real confident alpha male feels his whole body from head to toe. And then he steps into the tension. He feels his heart and he feels his vulnerability in the heart. And think about it, which sounds more confident? A guy who can open his heart, walk right up and say, hey, what's your name? I like you. And feel every bit of emotion between you two and still stay right there and be like, yep, I still like you. Or that hurt, man, but I'm still here. Or wow, this is scary. I can't wait to do it because he's vulnerable, but he's vulnerable strong, not vulnerable needy. Or a guy who walls off his heart and says, hey, what's up? How you doing, man? What's your name? Where are you from? And there's a big difference in those two energies. Now drop down a little deeper and think about this for a minute. Um, what about the stomach? Stomach is where we start to feel a lot of personal power and there's a sense of dropping in and there's this sense of, hey, what's up? 
How you doing? And there's a sense of intuition. What is she? Oh, she wants me to get closer right now because you can feel the subcommunication from there better. Yeah, uh, your gut brain is so powerful. It's processing an insane amount of data per second. And when you really tune into that gut brain, it gives you these little intuitive hits and tells you do this now, step over there, kiss her now. And when you listen to that thing, it's almost never, well, it really is never wrong. Your interpretations in the beginning can be a little wrong as you learn how to read it, but it gets more powerful. But a lot of guys, because they have self-esteem issues, they don't have self-worth issues, they don't want to feel their gut. And, they're, and so they close off. I can't tell you how many clients we start to work with where their gut starts to hurt and they start to feel this, this pain in their gut when we start to open them up and they have to process that self-esteem stuff. Same with the heart, the heart hurts. And then there's down to the turn on, when you start to drop into the turn on and you start to just enjoy her and your eyes begin to connect and there's this warmth and tingle between you two. And as you enjoy her in a non-creepy way, because you're not making it wrong, you're enjoying your turn on, you're offering it up to her and you're not forcing it on her in any way, shape or form, she can start to get turned on and enjoy you because she's seeing her beauty through your eyes, through the depth of feeling in your body. And then there's the grounding, grounding it out, making it all feel like on one level, it's, it's dangerous and a little naughty and a little wild. And on another level, it's, he's safe. He's gonna take me on a wild ride, but he's got my back. And that's the power of a true alpha. A true alpha isn't trying to dominate everybody. He's building people up. See, when you're in pride, the pride level of emotion is about win lose. I'm gonna beat you, cocky. But when you're in courage level of emotion, this is a revealing process uh, teaching, you actually start to look for the win-win. How can I make her feel beautiful and sexy without giving up my power, feeling the most powerful version of myself, which is gonna make her appreciate it. Because this guy that feels solid inside through his whole body is actually telling her she, he's, she's beautiful or sexy or whatever or even teasing her and playing with her, which is all fine too, because he, she can feel the subcommunication and what he really means underneath. And that is really powerful. Where are you at now? Are you at that beta male stage? Do we need to do more videos on that? Are you in the fake alpha stage, which is, you're gonna have to do a little of that to, to feel and learn to calibrate. Or are you in the uh, alpha male stage? So let's call it an authentic alpha, an authentic, courageous alpha. You know, this guy who really cares about the world. As you grow into that guy, trust me, your life is gonna get so much better. So, so much better. Now, um, I do wanna share something. High-end clients do these week-long events and sometimes up to two weeks where they're in front of models five, six hours a day and we're doing all kinds of energetic work and, and really desensitization work, nervous system work, getting them more calm and comfortable, learning to be low in their bodies. And we take them out all night to practice with real women meet real women and not just women, everybody learning to be a social beast. Okay. And we love doing that. Now, one of the things we've distinctly noticed over the years and all the coaches notice it is when a guy comes in and he's in his head, you can see he's up here. He's like, Hey, what's up? How you doing? He's not going to do well, but when he gets a little lower and starts to get down into his heart, his upper chest, he does a little better when he gets in fully gets into his heart and starts to talk from you know, his heart, as he learns to relax down into his body, because you kind of relax down most of the time. As he starts to relax down, girls start to connect with him a little better. They start to enjoy his company and there's this nice, we know he's not gonna score yet, but at, throughout the week, as he gets even lower and starts to drop into his gut and his gut brain right through here and starts to feel and starts to relax and starts to own a little sense of personal power, that's when we know girls are gonna get, start getting attracted. And that's what we work towards really fast. And then finally, when he gets down into his hips, things really, if he's all the way down, things really start to pick up and then get into it and it owns his grounding. We kind of try to get the grounding first and then connect all the way through the body. And it's so powerful when that happens. That is helping to create a third stage, true alpha, authentic alpha, whatever you want to call it. If you guys come up with a good title, let us know. Maybe we'll, we'll coin the term and, and build it out. But that's what we're helping to create here at Fearless. And if you want to learn more about that, check with uh, our events and our workshops and you can learn more about that or the revealing course. We have a really revealing course, which really helps to work on the mindset to get the stored stories out of the body to help you feel more. Now, with that said, remember to comment in this video. We'd love to hear your comments, what you want to learn more of, where you're currently at, what you want to see more videos on in this area. Did you enjoy this video? Things like that. Remember again to share, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, already said all that. And remember, only the confident really live. And in this case, only the confident true alpha male really lives. Take care, have a beautiful day.